Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day filled with only positive vibes. So, as many may know, I am currently doing a Road to Diamond video. But that being said, I have completed all the Damascus skin. So, I wanted to do a video series helping you guys and how you guys can unlock the Damascus. To be specific, this series is going to go down through every specific type of gun. And today, we're going to start with the shotgun and give you guys tips and tricks on how to unlock it for the specific type of gun skin. So, for example, today, we're going to be doing shotguns. Obviously, shotgun is my most comfortable. Quick disclaimer. This will be based on the assumption that you have completed the guns to the max level. If you have not completed it to the max level, make sure to watch my how to efficiently level up your gun video. Uh, if you haven't yet, it's going to be in the first pinned comment. But that being said, we're going to do it for every single gun. Give you guys some tips and tricks. We might even have some footage in the background. But ultimately, uh, we're going to hop into the game right now so we can talk about that. All right, so let's just take a look at the kind of achievements that you kind of have to do to unlock these camels. So the sand one, I believe, is going to be kills. I believe it's about 400 kills. Might be 300. I'm not exactly sure about the numbers. We have the dragon camel, which should be hip fires. Then we have the splinters, which should be long shots. And then we have tiger, which should be full attachment, if I remember correctly. And then we have the jungle which should be headshot and then the reptile one should be no attachments i'm not exactly sure which one we have i don't remember the exact number if i remember correctly headshots like 80 long shots 45 similar to the smg but i'm not 100 sure obviously you guys already know that number it's going to be shown as you guys are grinding so i don't need to explain that for you guys you guys are probably here specifically for the shotguns now before we get into each individual shotguns, I'll give you guys some tips and tricks for specific ones. So if you do want to grind specific guns together, I usually recommend doing the long shot as well as the full attachments. And potentially, you can also do the headshot ones at the same time if you're lucky. I'll explain that in a second. And then if you want to do uh, something com combined, you can also combine the hip fire with the no attachments. And then obviously, you can get a bunch of kills as you progress. The two longest ones are going to be the kills and the no, not the attachments, not the no attachments, the full attachment ones. But generally speaking, um, as you're progressing, you should be able to unlock those together. Shotguns are one of the easiest ones. Now... My recommendations for specific ones is long shots. There's a specific strategy you want to do um, for especially specifically for pump shotguns. So HSO, BY-15, KRM, and then we'll explain that in a second. And also the specific maps you guys want to do. When it comes to grinding in general, you want to pick shipment and you want to pick hardpoint because shipment hardpoint is going to be the best one. The reason for that is that you'll be able to, let me show it to you guys. I'm not going to, we'll probably have some footage in the background, but shipment hardpoint is going to be the best one for you guys just because it's such a small map and generally speaking even though you'll die a lot you'll be able to get a lot of kills and those are the map and if you're going for long shot kills you can pick kill confirm and i usually recommend going on high rise but because shotguns only require about I, i'm going to say about 10 meters it might even be 12 meters 12 meters to be able to get long shots you can actually do it on shipment if you want from one corner to another corner but that's a little more risky you can go on rust you can go on a cage you can even go on high rise you can even literally any map but personally speaking i find that high rise is the best one because there's so many more bots and also not only that you're able to have kill confirm last a little bit longer since it's a bigger map so the bots are not actually uh, confirming the kills all right now let's go ahead and go for specific guns and talk about them specifically so we're going to talk about the by 15 first i think this is the easiest one it's pretty simple when we're going to talk about for example um long shots there's a few other things you can use for this specific gun you can use uh hardcore i don't actually know if hardcore is still currently available right now so let me just double check as i'm recording this video hardcore might still yes hardcore still available so for long shot it's gonna be a little harder of recent because they have nerfed the shotgun so the range is not as good typically before I would recommend going for the ADS spread accuracy however now I recommend playing some hardcore and using the slug round yes the slug round is gonna be very important and it only works on the pump guns you can't use this on a striker or the echo so you realistically speaking long shots you're gonna have to go to slug round you're gonna have to go to hardcore mode and honestly the build you're gonna want to go with let me just actually have a brand new so I don't lose my um my thing so we're gonna clear this real quick the main thing you still want to have some ADS spread accuracy but you want to have stuff like this the marauder suppressor which is going to help out with the range you also want to get the um, steady stocks or the ranger stock it doesn't really matter you want to put the granulated the reason you want to have the ADS spread accuracy is because when you shoot you don't want the bullet to spread kind of too far so that's really the best way to do it and this is going to go long shot for all the burst shotgun by burst shotgun i mean pump shotguns it's going to go for the same for this one it's going to go the same for the hso however Keep in mind, the HSO does not have the Marauder Suppressor, and it doesn't have as much option when it comes to ADS red accuracy. So you're going to have to keep that in mind when you're building this one to get long shot. But still, you should be able to hit those long shots 
especially if you play on hardcore mode and the KRM is similar to the BY-15 when it comes to that. Now for the three burst guns or the striker, you have to build the ADS spread accuracy. For the HS-2126, what I have been doing is I've been building the ADS spread accuracy as much as I can. And yes, you are going to be using the, um, where is it? The choke, you're going to be using the YKM barrel. You're going to be using as much as you can when it comes to ADS spread accuracy as you possibly can find. And honestly, realistically speaking, we have the ADS spread accuracy here and we have the laser sight as well. I believe I actually did have the strike foregrip instead of the choke, if I remember correctly. But same thing for this. You do want to go on kill confirm high rise. You can go on other maps, but this is going to take more than one burst to kill. You have to be a little persistent on that when it comes to um, the HS2126. It does take a little bit of time to get this, but if you use this specific build, it's going to help you out. ADS spread accuracy is going to help a lot. The striker, I would typically recommend. Oh, you can also play on uh, hardcore. Like I mentioned, long shots, hardcore is your best bet. However, I just want to say for the HS2126, you can actually play on high rise if you want to try to get a lot more kills. This one is going to be kind of tough, all right? I do recommend the ADS spread accuracy. Since it didn't get buffed, it didn't get nerfed or anything like that, you can build this build right here that we're going to show you guys. It's going to help out a lot with the ADS. We got the ADS spread accuracy build. That, that's what I usually recommend. Then you can ADS and you can shoot people from afar. Just remember that this is the build I would use. However, you can if you want to get more um, accurate kills. I don't recommend it because the slug round does basically no damage, but I think this is going to be a lot better. But you can put the slug round in. If you do, you can. You just take off the uh, strike foregrip and you can put it. But this is what I recommend, personally speaking, for long shots when it comes with the striker. And for our echo, very similar as well. I would recommend going with the ADS spread accuracy. And this one, I, I could actually potentially re recommend you guys doing this on hardcore. Just because the spread is actually really fantastic on this one. Uh, the damage got nerfed, but you can potentially still use it as long as you go ahead and build the full ADS spread accuracy build. This is the best way for you to get long shots because it's going to make the bullets closer to each other. The damage is going to lose out. You're doing the, a little bit of both. You're doing damage range as well as um, ADS spread accuracy. But like I said, you can also change it based on how you want to do it. So you can actually do this and you can actually put the laser sight instead. But it really depends on you. Uh, honestly, I think the choke is better for this one just because the damage range is kind of low. Uh, we are going to take off this one and we are going to be putting the tactical laser sight just for the ADS spread accuracy. You're going to ADS like I recommend. So we're going to see if we're going to hop into hardcore to kind of show off these for you guys. So yeah, as you guys can see, I actually have the red dot on. I put the red dot on because I think it might actually be better. I realized that the iron sight are not that great on this, so it might help out a little bit more. There you go. There we go. Kill confirm hardcore is going to be great. Just don't potato. So yeah, you see, you guys see there. Let's see. How, let's see how far that was. That was that wasn't even that far. 20 meters. That was 20 meters. Dang. Aim at this guy here. There we go. Yeah, you see you got a long shot there. That should have been long shot and that's not even that far, I think. Yeah, 16 meters, so it's really not that long for long shots compared to everything. That was a long shot, and that was even closer, so you guys will see with the HS, we should be able to do the same thing. Again, it's not that much further. Probably here. That was a long shot, and that was definitely probably like 10 meters, 15 meters probably. See, like ADS spread accuracy right there. Oh, see, all you gotta do is ADS spread accuracy, hold it, and you're able to hit them. All right, so... If you don't want to play hardcore mode, like I mentioned, this is the best way to do long shots no matter what shotgun you have. As uh, you'll see, a lot of times you have bots who will come towards the middle. Hit one shot, hit two shots. There we go. That should be a long shot there. Yeah, we got a long shot there. And you should be able to get some. Obviously, you're going to want to take this point on top. But generally speaking, this is going to be your best bet. I Like I said, for whatever guns you might want to use, um, I think... As of now, the slug round is going to be the best one on hardcore to get long shots just because of the nerf to the range of most shotguns. Uh, so that's what I recommend to you guys. Hardcore, but doesn't mean you can't hit those long shots. As you guys can see, you want to get a little bit closer though. So like right there, there's a guy there. That person up here. That's a long shot there. That's a long shot there. So we get a bunch of long shots ar around this range. And it's not like you can't hit them. You can obviously hit them, but 
I, I still find slug rounds is the best way to get it. All right, with HS2126, probably one of the hardest ones to do, um, but I had an easier time than the, um, the HSO. Again, this is gonna be tough just because of how it is. Shotguns just got nerfed like crazy, but you're gonna just try to do hit these long shots like that. You have no, you have no choice. See, we got a long shot there. Try to aim all those shots in. Aim for the feet so that more bullets hit there. We got another long shot there. So I recommend having Vulture for most of these. Try to control the recoil a bit. But yeah, at least see, we got two. Like I said, very similar to the Echo. They both have the same th uh, style of shooting. However, this one has slower reload, which makes it a downside. You just try to move a little bit closer if you can. Try to get these kills here. Let's see if I can actually get this guy here. There we go. That should have been a long shot. Oh, I just got naded. That should have been a long shot too. About 18 meters. We get shot in the back. Yeah, biggest downside, uh, having to reload forever. You want to have all 12 bullets available to you when you're shooting. See if I can actually get this guy here. We're gonna move back a bit. That should have been a long shot. Yeah, 17 meter is a long shot. That might not have been a long shot there. But again, 17 meters, this is your best bet. All right, next up, we're gonna be talking about the uh, hip fire as well as the no attachments and headshots together. So you could do those three together. Typically speaking, it doesn't really matter what kind of build you are doing. It is very important that you're playing on the closest map you can find. So shipment, hard point. A matter of fact, if you don't mind playing multiple games, you can just play on shipment and you can play any game mode you like. You just run around and you aim for the head if you ADS. If they're close to you, you might want to jump and aim down. I know it's a little hard to explain, but it is your best bet to hit the shotguns to the head because you want to be able to get all the pellet to the face. If you ADS and you're using an ADS spread accuracy build, that's what I would recommend. Use any of these shotguns, just build ADS spread accuracy and ADS and try to hit it to the head. However, you can hit fire to the face, but I recommend just headshots. And it's a little harder for the HS2126 because it is a burst, but one burst to the face will still kill it and you should still try doing a jumping and then aiming to the head is what I recommend. Um, overall, Everything else is still fairly easy to get long shots as well as the headshots for the shotguns are probably the hardest part. You just got to keep playing the game. The headshots, it's super, super random because sometimes your bullets will not hit. So you just got to keep playing the game. And the best way for you to keep getting more headshots would be playing shipment because closer range of people, you get ADS into the head. If you want, you can put an iron sight if you want for the slug round. But then again, I just, I, I personally find that when you're just running towards someone, just jump and then headshot is the best way to get it. There you go. See, you just gotta aim for the head. Try to get these. Just gotta hope for the best. There you go. There you go. So yeah, just gotta ADS spread accuracy, aim for the head. The closer you are, the, the easier it is. Let's see if we get the, the jump headshot that we're talking about. There you go. Try to jump, aim down. Very, very simple. We'll do a few more like this where we jump and get a headshot. You just gotta try it. You gotta time it. If you can, ADS, get the headshot. Right? But other than that, there's no easy way to do it. You gotta maybe get the jump shots like I talked about. There you go. Jump, headshot, got life. So yeah, we're, we'll show you guys with the other guns now. Echo and Striker are very similar when it comes to that, but if you can get headshots with this, there we go, headshot, ADS spread accuracy makes it very good. If you can get a jump shot, you just hit the jump shot, but if you don't, it'd be like that. There you go, nice headshot there. That wasn't a headshot there, but it's okay. Show this one here. Nice, like I said, just jump headshot. And then you'll be able to get more odds of getting headshots. Change it to the HS2126. To show you guys, for the headshot, same thing. You kind of want to get, if you can. You, you got to be next to them. Try to get the headshot. ADS spread accuracy is your best bet. We can get this one here. There you go. ADS spread accuracy. And like I said, if you can if you can jump and then get like a headshot while jumping. Like this. Let's see if I can get it like this. There we go. It's your best bet. There you go. Just aim for the head, really. It's a it's the easiest way to do it. For example, like there you go, jump head jump into their head. You have a better chance. Jump then aim down. It's just oh I'm dead. There you go, jump head. Just gotta get those jump headshots. And the same thing goes for the striker. 
I feel like Striker is pretty easy. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if this helped you guys out. Shotguns are probably the easiest, in my opinion. The longest part is going to be the headshot, but that goes for all guns. You just got to practice, and you'll get it eventually. The long shots can be pretty easy, but overall, the amount of kills you need total is low compared to something, let's say, like the SMG or even the ARs. But let me know if this helped you guys out. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Kill it!